All right, let's continue building our house. So we've got some uh, footings dug out or the trenches for the footings. Um, all right, let's build every little piece of rebar and all the forms that are gonna hold the concrete and all the stakes. I'm just kidding, that would take us forever. Okay, but we're gonna, we're gonna imitate that. Now, uh, just in case you don't know where we are, you're going to your Onshape account, you're going into your folder, you're going into your ranch house, you're finding your part studio that has this in it. All right. Now, I did realize I made a mistake last time, and where the garage door goes, there actually shouldn't be a footing there because um, the garage door doesn't need to be supported. It's supported on each side. Um, you know, if you look at a garage, there's nothing there, right? You drive in and out. There's there's no wall there, so it doesn't need a footing below it. So we're going to fix that right now. So here, was, here we go. We're going to sketch and just choose this flat surface or this flat surface right here. doesn't matter. I'm going to click on that, so we're sketching on it, um, and we'll bring us perpendicular. Now, it's going to be pretty basic. We're going to just draw one simple rectangle. Um, Go up here, draw a corner to corner rectangle. So we're gonna use choose corner rectangle and we're gonna lock it to this line, somewhere on the line. Don't go to a point, that's important that we're just a little bit in, click for one corner. We're gonna drag and we're gonna click on the line somewhere around here in this other corner, click, okay? Now, it's gonna be pretty basic that we are going to then uh, we're going to dimension some things. Now, the distance from here to here, it's a 20-foot garage. We're going to have a 16-foot door. That's pretty standard. Um, and then the footing will stick in a little bit. So we're going to do a 24-inch space right here. So we're going to have a dimension. Use the dimension tool up here. Click on it. Click on the line. Click. And then we're going to click on this other line over here. Now notice it wants to dimension the length, but once you click the second thing, it will say, oh, okay, you must want to, to make it a certain distance. Doesn't wear, matter where you put it, just click again, and then we're going to enter 24. Enter, okay. Now we're going to make a 16 inch opening, but the footing will stick in eight inches on each side. Okay, so we're going to then dimension from this line to this line, click as, ready? It is 16 times 12, but this time we're going to subtract 16 inches, eight inches worth of wall on each side. Enter. All right, finish our sketch. And now we're going to extrude that rectangle and we're going to go the other way. I don't want it to go up. I want it to go down and we're going to go the 18 inches that the depth. Sorry about my dog. That'll wake you up though if you weren't paying attention. Okay, so 18 inches down. Um, Enter will give you a little preview of what it's going to look like, and good. Okay, cool. So that is what I wanted it to look like. All right. So now we've got our footing. Our footings are all ready to go. All right. So we're going to pour our footings. Here comes the concrete truck, uh, and um, and we're going to pour our footings. Now, normally we would build the walls up or forms for the walls and it all gets kind of poured at the same time. Depends on how much mass there is. Sometimes the footings will get poured with the rebar all sticking up out of that and then the, and then the forms are built on top of that later. So this is going to be pretty basic. Okay, We are going to sketch on this top surface again. Click. Again, and we'll bring us viewing normal to that. Okay, and now um, we are simply going to. Actually, I take that back. We don't even need to do that. Can we not do that? Time out. Okay, let's get out of that sketch. Now it says it's been canceled. Okay, if we put anything on it, we can just delete it from over here. So I forgot that we can just use what's already here. 
All right, so here we go. Rather than start a sketch, we can just extrude. And what we're going to do is we're going to click down there on that surface. So make sure that you're getting that both the outside and the inside. Don't click like this or this. Make sure you're getting down into that hole. Click. Okay. Now, this is important. We can come up. We're coming up from the bottom. Okay. And we're going to come up a total of eight inches so that it is a eight inch thick footing on the bottom. Okay. Now, this is important that we are going to make a new part because it's a new material. It's not part of the land. Okay. It's going to be new. Um, so make sure that we've clicked new. We've got it going up a total of eight inches. Okay. And finally, we can click good. Now, it won't look like much has happened, although you can see that it is a different color. Uh, so if we want to see what that looks like, go ahead and come down here and down here under parts, turn off the visibility of the land. And you can see what that footing is like sitting down inside of there. Come back over here and you can turn back on your land to see what that looks like. Cool. All right. So we have our footing. Now we need to put the stem wall on top of the footing. All right, we're going to go down from the top. Now watch, this is going to be a little tricky. So up here towards the right of your toolbar is a bunch of stuff in here, and one of them is plain. It's probably there by default, but if not, you can do the drop down and choose plain. What we're going to do is we're going to make a new sketch plane. So once I've clicked plain, this little window shows up, and we're going to offset and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this flat surface right here. Just click anywhere on the flat surface and see that arrow that shows up? We're going to pull that upward to show that we're going to create a new plane. And our offset distance is going to be 24 inches. That's how far we're going to come up off the ground. Enter. Give you a little preview. Enter. Okay. And um, we're looking at a plane that is a little bit up off of the ground. All right, so now we're going to sketch on that plane. But before we do that, let's make sure we know what this plane references. So come over here to your browser, click, right click on plane, and let's rename it and call it Foundation Top. So we know what we're referencing if we're looking at that plane. And notice it changed the name of this here. All right. Now, we are going to hover over that plane until it highlights and then right click and hit new sketch. We're going to sketch on that plane and we'll view us perpendicular to it. All right. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky. What we're going to do is we're going to offset these things in and out eight inches. Now, I don't know if I have to project it. Let's find out. I'm going to offset. Now, if you hover around, okay, um, we want to choose. Um, we're probably going to have to do this twice. So let's go ahead and hover until just that inside rectangle is showing. Click. Now, you'll notice that an arrow shows up. We're going to pull on that arrow. It doesn't really matter how far you go. And then we're going to click. Now, you might have to zoom in a little bit more. Whoops, I flipped the direction of the arrow accidentally. You have to kind of zoom in to get to that number that you see pop up and click on it. And we're setting that to 8 inches. Enter. Okay, now it's a little hard to see unless you zoom way in. So now we've, we've, um, we've come in. In, we've come in eight inches um, from the inside. Now we need to come in from the outside. So this is again going to be a little tricky. If I think what we need to do is we need to hit offset. But you're going to have to now go around the outside and click on all of these lines that make up the outside. Now, if you go from one to the other, what's going to happen is if I skip something and click on here, 
it's probably going to give me an error message, although it didn't, um, and say, you can't do that because you have to make it a chain. It keeps wanting to grab the midpoint, but if you hover and zoom in, it's a little tricky making sure you get everything, but you can do it. Click. Whoops, I didn't want that point. I hope clicking on that point doesn't cause a problem. We'll find out. Click. All right, so I've got all of those. I'm going to now offset them, and this time I'm dragging inward. And again, you're going to have to zoom in and click. Don't trust that it's right that it says 8, because see that little weird, weird point one six. So it's 8 inches. Enter. Okay. And we are now offset eight inches all the way around. Cool. Okay. Looks good. All right. Now I'm going to finish this sketch. And now if you look, if you tilt it up, check it out. That's floating all up in the air like that where that wall is going to be. And we are now going to extrude that inside part. So click extrude up here. Zoom in so that you can make sure that you're getting not something weird on the outside. We want to make sure we're getting um, in between those two lines that we just made. Click. Okay. Now the arrow is going the wrong way. It wants to extrude it up. I want to go the opposite direction and go down. And my distance this time is going to be, instead of blind, I am going to go to next. Now I'm not done yet to next, but here's the deal. Right now, it may say a new and it may say add. I am going to add and make sure that it's merging with part two, which is that concrete down inside of there. Um, so we're going to make sure that it adds to part two, and we're going to click OK. You might need to rewatch that again to make sure we're all good. All right, cool. Now, um, we are almost done, but here's the deal. Garages are usually lower than the house. So if you ever take a look, you know, if you live in a home that has a garage in it or can go to another one, you probably have to step up into the house. Um, that is very typical. So um, we are going to lower this part of the wall. So here is how to do that. We're going to click on sketch. And we're going to go zoom in until we can click on the top of the wall. Click. And now we're sketching on the top of the wall. And for normal to bring us normal. Okay. Now, this is going to be a little tricky. What we're going to do is we're going to need to project some of the, um, some of the lines. So up here is this thing called use. We're going to use some lines. Click use. Okay. And then we're going to hover until you get the whole top of the wall. So once you're looking at that, click. Okay. And it just projected all of those lines. See how it put little dots in the ends? And now we're going to draw lines across this where the house meets the garage wall here and down here where it meets it down here. Okay. All right. So now we've got the garage. Finish the sketch. Tilt so you can see. So we raised up 24 inches out of the ground. We're going to go 12 inches down. So we're going to go down um, quite a bit um, so that we're not very far up off the ground for the garage. Actually, let's go 16 inches down. I think that would be better. Um, that will leave 8 inches sticking up out of the ground. That's about right. So up here to extrude, click, hover over, and we're going to click on this part of the wall, click, and we're going to click on just this little section right here. Click. And we're going to remove 12 inches.
Enter will give us a preview of what that's going to look like. I generally like the way that looks. Okay, cool. All right. So we've got our garage that's low, 12 inches lower than the rest of the house. All right. So last thing, we're going to come down here to part two. And we're going to call that right click. And we're going to rename it. And we're going to call it foundation. Nice. Now, one of the cool things is we're going to come in here. We're actually going to make this out of the material. Right click. And we're going to assign material. Now, right now, there is none assigned. Click this little down arrow, and I believe that we will find somewhere in here concrete. Click on that, and click OK. And now that has the actual properties of the concrete. Now we have a little problem, and I actually forgot about this, because the joists are going to go across here that support the floor of the house. This is 32 feet. There ain't no such thing as a 32 foot long um, board that we can use as a floor joist. Actually, that's not true. You could, but it's very, very uncommon to get something that long. Difficult to transport, difficult to make. So um, what we need is we need a uh, another little wall right in here. So I'd forgotten about that in the first time, but that's okay. We can go back and fix that now. So let's do that, shall we? So let's start by digging, digging a new trench right through the middle of this. By the way, the, my foundation top um, plane is still showing, which annoys me, so I can come over here and turn that off. Um, I tend to like things clean. All right, let's start by drawing a new sketch in this dirt area right in the middle of the house. And we'll bring us normal to it, okay? And I'm gonna show you a really easy way of making that trench. So we're going to draw a rectangle, and we're going to hook up a corner of that rectangle. Um, no, I take that back. Don't do that. So click on corner to corner rectangle, and we're going to just right in the middle of the thing, just kind of draw a rectangle that looks approximately like so. And it's going to be 18 inches. So get it close. Now, we're going to click. We are not going to enter in numbers this time because I want, uh, I'll explain that in just a moment. Click off of it. All right, now hit escape or you're going to make another one. Now, I do want a dimension. I want to make sure that that is um, 24 inches wide because that's how big the trench is. So we're going to come up here to dimension, and from that line to that line is going to be 24. Okay. Now, you'll notice it kind of went out too far, right? That's okay. You can grab a corner here and pull it inward. Same thing for the other side, or you can just make grab this line and move it in while you're holding on the mouse wheel because, uh, or the um, left mouse. Jeez, uh, oh, I keep clicking on things that I don't want to click on. Now, it is... 24 inches wide, but it's not locked in. So here's the cool thing. We did this before. Put a point, hover over this left line, uh, the inside of that trench until you see that square. Click. That puts a point there. Same thing on the other side. Hover over the inside edge of the trench. Click. And then let's do the same thing on these edges of the rectangle. Hover over it till that square shows up. Click. Hover over this till the square shows up. Click. And then we're going to use a coincident constraint. Click on it. We're going to click on one dot. Make sure it's not a line. It's just that middle dot, dot, and then click on the other dot. Boom. Same thing on the other side. Dot, dot. Cool. Um, finish. And then we're going to extrude that rectangle downward 18 inches because that is what our trench depths were. Flip it. 
Now it's red right now because it doesn't understand what you want until you hit remove, then it's okay with it, and we're removing 18 inches. Okay. See, okay, so we're down there. Now we're going to need to add the concrete that we should have done before. I should have done this when we built the foundation, but we didn't, so it's okay. Now this time we're going to have to sketch down here because we're not going to be able to notice that that is part of the whole big thing. So we're not going to be able to just extrude it. So we do need to sketch down inside of here. So make sure you're not selecting that or that. We're in the middle down here. Click. We are now sketching. Last time this happened too with this weird blue line showing up and I'm not sure why it does that. So we are now um, sketching in there. Let's um, end for normal. And I'm going to draw a rectangle down inside of here, corner to corner. We're going to go from this point right here. So hover over that point, click, and we're going to go over to this point, click. Okay. Now, good. Done with our sketch. Now let's tilt it a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to now extrude that rectangle that we just made, click, and we're going to come upward eight inches. Now it is important that we are going to add. Now when I click add, it probably is going to try and add it to the dirt. It doesn't know what it wants to add to. So this thing that says merge scope, we're going to click that we want to add it to the foundation. Click, and it should be all good to go. Good. Check. Okay. Now we don't have a wall there, so we're going to need to build our wall. So that is the last thing that we're going to do is um, build our wall. So let's sketch on the top of the foundation. Click and to view normal. We're going to follow that same process that we just followed, except we're going to make a, um, a little bit smaller rectangle. So don't worry about this weird sketch size. You, you know, I almost wish it wouldn't show up that way. So let's somewhere kind of random up here, go ahead and make our rectangle. Click to place it. Click somewhere else so that you're not putting in numbers. Escape gets us out of there. We're going to dimension again from there to there, but this time it's eight inches because that's how big the wall is, eight, enter, okay. Now we are again going to use a midpoint, okay. So there's already a point right there that I can use and there's already a point right there that I can use because we've done that before. But I need to place a point on the midpoint of each one of the rectangle lines, one there and you got to learn how to use your mouse wheel and zoom and one there. And finally, we're going to coincident constraint. Coincident constraint. We're going to lock together that point and that point that will show up when we hover over it. And this point and that point. If for some reason those points don't show up, you can always add them. All right, finish the sketch. And now we are going to extrude this little shape that we just made. We're going the other direction for 18 inches. Uh, no, I take that back, I'm sorry. We're not going 18 inches. We're going to, instead of blind, we're going up to next which means that it will go down to where it joins that. And your merge scope should say that it's joining in with the foundation if we're adding it and going up to next. Good. And there is our foundation. Cool. All right. Sorry for the long way around to get that middle uh, wall in there, but that's okay. And um, let's take a look at this. Turn off the land for a moment. And take a look at that beautiful foundation. Very nice with footings all around. 
All right, turn back on the land. Um, go ahead and take a picture of, uh, of your foundation with your, uh, with your name showing. We'll go back to talking about the volume and all of that stuff next time. All right, good job. We're still building. See you next time.